Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Practical Surplus. I'm Mike B, and today we're going to be talking about the Czechoslovakian VZ, or Model 1985, cold weather or winter cap. So, this is something that I've been personally using for years, since I was in high school and whatever. And um, I'm able to get these now and offer them to you through Mike's Militaria. I will be putting a link in the description, of course. But we're going to talk a little bit about why these are really cool and why they're effective. Uh, first of all, you can see it's a Ushanka style or Ushanka, whatever the hell you pronounce it. And uh, these, it, it's synthetic fibers, of course, because it was made post basically 1960. So they're going to be synthetic fibers. Um, you see right away that you've got the Ushanka style with the faux fur lining and the um, outer, which used to be cotton and now it's kind of a blend to make it even stronger. And the reason these are really cool is because they're really cheap. They're not that heavy, really, for what they are. They're not that heavy. And they just look cool. Um, a lot of these that I sell will not have the badge on the front. They'll just be the hat. But that really doesn't matter if you're looking for a functional purpose. So I live up in Wisconsin, as you know. Um, it gets pretty damn cold up here. I live in the northern part. And it can get to, like, negative 30 here. Like, not even out of the ordinary in the winter and these things I've actually worn out shoveling snow doing work outside when it's that cold and they're actually really really effective um, these are not made for being that cold because uh, central European winters are not really as bad as they are like uh, where I live but uh, still I mean cold is cold right so they're cheap. Um, I sell them online. They're about 12 bucks a piece on average, depending on the size, because the bigger sizes are hard to find. Uh, we'll just go through a little bit really quick of kind of the functionality of these. So you can see right away, this is the folded up um, style that people usually wear them as just to keep their heads warm. A lot of these have stamps. This is a size 62, but it's actually like a size 60. Um, that's why another thing I do on my shop is I actually size them to the actual size, not just the stamp size. Some of these are stamped, you know, 60 or 59, and they're actually a lot smaller because they shrunk over time from being washed and whatever else. Uh, but anyway, again, the badges, I just chose that one. It's really cool, and this one actually fits me, so I decided to keep this one. So this can be worn in a couple couple, couple different fashions. Um, you can either wear it like this, or what I like to do is most commonly fold these down a little bit like that, not completely, and wear it like this, right? And that's how most people that I actually know personally who wear these wear them. Uh, and if it gets super cold, they can be folded down like this, right? So you've got the full Ushanka or Ushanka, Whatever, I know, we can get a bunch of snobs in the comments. It's actually pronounced this way, but whatever. I'm from the U.S., and I just try my best. But anyway, yeah, so these fold down like that, and they actually are secured by a kind of drawstring thing. Slightly adjustable for size and whatnot. And the liner is a herringbone twill cotton material. Very comfortable. I actually wear these myself, and... Most of the stuff that I endorse for practical surplus, I actually use myself. It's not just like I'm trying to sell it to you. Like on some of the videos, I actually do use this as a practical item. They're very warm, very comfortable, and you can wear them at different temperatures. Like this would be a, you know, 30 degrees or 20 degree day. And the second way I showed you with kind of the ears half folded down would be about a 10 degree to zero degree day. And then fully folded down would be a windy below zero day. And these actually perform quite well under all three circumstances. So they're cheap. I like them. I'm not the only one that has them. So feel free to shop around. But with me, you're going to you're gonna get the correct size that actually fits your head. And uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got on this episode of Practical Surplus. I'm resurrecting the series if you haven't noticed. And yeah, hopefully you get them. I'll put the link in the description. They sell out really quick when I get them because of the fact that they're really nice and they work well. But uh, yeah, if you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. If not, good luck getting one. Hopefully you get one in your size. And we'll see you on the next episode of Practical Surplus.